Jacob Brugman, former BYU baseball star, member of the Class A Advanced Stockton Ports, part of the Oakland A's organization, joining us live. Jacob, you had a span, of course, where we you hit those 10 home runs in 11 games. What in the heck is going on in your mind when you get in a groove like that? Uh, really, you're just hoping to continue that. You don't want to stop. That's in your mind, you you just hope you could continue through the whole season. <laughs> does the does the baseball look like as big as a beach ball? <laughs> you know what? Sometimes it does. Um, sometimes it's, it's honestly luck. Um, but there's there's a lot of at bats that I had that the baseball is kind of slow motion and it was it was huge. It was just floating in there, so it was nice. <laughs> when did you realize you were in the zone? Um, it's a good question. I uh, it really just happened. My first game of that streak I just hit a home run and it was an it was a good home run and I felt good and usually that propels you throughout the next few games you know gives you that confidence so I don't know it just kept rolling talking with Jacob Brugman former BYU baseball player from 2011 to 2013 he's hitting 296 right now for the Stockton Ports in Class A advanced ball for the Oakland Athletics Organization for the second time in a row, Jacob, MLB.com has recognized you as the Pipeline Prospect of the Week. What what kind of confidence do honors like that give you? Oh, man, it's it's huge confidence because that prospect line is, is all the top players in the minor leagues, um, which just tells me that I'm getting recognized and I'm doing just as good as one of the best. So... The confidence level that it gives me is is what I need to propel me for the end of the season, you know, to finish strong. And it's a great time for to have this success. Uh, noticed you hit what one homer last year, and then you've uh, now hit what twenty <laughs> this season. What uh, what changed for you? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know, some people have told me that I I have that potential to get a you know a nice home run swing and. You know, at BYU, I did pretty well, and and my first year is kind of I just blamed it on you know it's my first year in pro ball, so that's why it didn't hit me. <laughs> Have you been lifting, dude? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I worked out at BYU this last off season. So oh, nice! I, there you go. I, that's an attest to uh, Justin McClure at the in the weight room. So, when you look at uh, kind of the life of a minor league baseball player, will you walk us through kind of where you started and where you've been as you've advanced? Oh man! Well, I started in Wisconsin. Um, I don't know many people that know that place, but it was in this place called Beloit. Okay. And first few months, April, May, were freezing. It was very cold. <laughs> Wind chill up to like you know 15 miles an hour. So the the things that BYU people know about that weather, um, it's uh, it was brutal. And we travel hours through the night on bus you know, going to different cities, different small towns, and we play games every single day. I think out of the 144 games, we had we have 14 days off. Wow. Um, and we drive throughout the whole Midwest. That's crazy. Yeah, and then now I'm here in, St- in uh, Stockton, California, um, and I have to, we travel. I'm in Southern California right now, so it's a seven-hour drive on bus. And we play that day. Jacob Brugman on BYU Sports Nation of the Stockton Ports, drafted in the 17th round by the Oakland A's organization. Obviously, minor league baseball is, is a different beast. And uh, where Jeremy and I really want to know is, is what's the craziest story you have encountered in your minor league days, whether it's a crazy bus ride or a breakdown somewhere? What, what's the craziest story you have for us? Uh, wow. Let's see. You know, there has been breakdowns, bus breakdowns, <laughs> um, crazy, you know, our air conditioner goes out in the middle of a uh, humid Wisconsin, Ugh. and we have to drive on the bus with the emergency hatches open. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. Uh, you know, really, I think a 18-hour, 18 18-inning game. That that had been the craziest thing because the next day we have to come to the field twelve hours later and play a game again. Oh man! Um, I think that's one of the craziest times because we had eighteen innings and then less than twelve hours we we're on the field again the next afternoon and you just felt like you wanted to 
not play. <laughs> yeah, understandably. Is it all worth it, Jacob? Oh, yeah. It's it's the sport I love, and it's the sport I've been playing my whole life. Um, it's, it's a beast, as you said, and I think it's only for those who really love and appreciate the game. Um, you really have to sh- you grind out these days because of the love of the game. Minor League Baseball is a piece of Americana. They do some crazy stuff. Those cities love those teams. Some of the promotions are just the weirdest things ever. What's What's been some fun stuff that you've seen playing minor league baseball um, that you would never see major, maybe at the major league level? Uh, the on-field antics. Um, if you go to a minor <laughs> league game, there between every inning, there's for sure to be something you've never seen. <laughs> and, like be a, a man throwing a frisbee 50 yards to a dog and the dog doing flips and catching it. Um, like a, the place we're at right now, between the seventh inning, there's a squirrel, a guy dressed in a squirrel suit <laughs> that he races a fan from pole to pole, foul pole to foul pole, and no one beats him because he's that fast. It's what like, in the world? <laughs> when, like, where do you see this stuff? <laughs> Only in minor league baseball. So, and I, that's that's one of the funnest things I've seen. And also being promoted, um, getting called into the coach's office and saying, "Hey, you're getting moved up." That's that was a really fun experience for me too. Walk us through that conversation that you had with the coach. Uh, we want to know more about the the promotion and and how that happens when you move between different classifications. Well. Depending on the coach, they usually try to make you feel like you're in trouble or uh, you, or they start off with a joke. Um, for me, it was, it was known that I was going to go up because of the you know, moves around the minor league teams. Cause, so I kind of had an idea I was going to move up. I just didn't know when. And when they finally called me to the office, everyone on my team started cheering. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he just – made a joke and said you're going to Stockton and I was pumped because everyone wants to get out of the Midwest League to go to the Cal League and I came back in the locker room and my teammates had water and they're ready to throw it on me and they kind of dogpiled me so that was really fun. What's the next step for you? Uh, fin- playoff push right now we're we're heading to the playoffs in a couple weeks looking to uh to get that ring and then after the season's over I you know I I go to fall instructs for another month of baseball and then I I'm off for four months but you know the next step is always just to work harder that's really what I try to do is keep getting better each day former BYU baseball player Jacob Brugman joining BYU Sports Nation hit 10 home runs in an 11-game span between August 6th and August 18th for the Stockton Ports, has worked his way up to Class A advance ball there in Stockton. Have you spoken with BYU baseball coach Mike Littlewood lately about your progress and, and how much contact you have with the baseball uh, BYU baseball program? Um, yeah, Coach Littlewood actually texted me a few times. He he says he checks my stat, the box score every night, and he's a you know he's a big fan and supporter, and I. I couldn't be more appreciative towards him and you know everything he's done for me. Um and I talk to you know all my baseball friends at BYU all the time so I just look forward to coming back in the off season and hanging out. I ask this to every BYU baseball player I talk to. What is Mike Littlewood's go-to for a phrase or slogan? <laughs> um well uh let's see. He he really has a subtle phrase, I think, and it's um, basically if you're not doing right, if you're not, if we're not in the game, and he wants to pump us up, you know, get us, get us, my mind, our mind right. He usually just says, looks you straight in the eye and says, "Figure it out." Yes, yes. there it is. That there is the answer. Is. That's the answer we're looking for, Jacob. Really, <laughs> figure it I out. I can't believe that. <laughs> figure it out. Everyone says the same phrase. Yeah, that is fantastic. Hey, well, we, awesome. we wish you congratulations on all of your success and uh, continue to play well there. We'll talk to you again soon. Hey, thank you so much.